I am Lili Vieira de Carvalho, I'm the executive director of the Vancouver Latin American Cultural Center. VLAC is an organization that aims to establish a physical space for Latin American culture in Vancouver. We, we are not the center. We have, to, uh, the other day, somebody said something that I loved. We have to put the last C in VLAC because we still need the center. Why we don't have the space, we have been, been doing programs uh, using other spaces here in Vancouver. And all, of course, for the past year, we have been doing it on Zoom, with, which have been creating some unexpected uh, good side effects, like having people uh, like Chantal and, and Marcos who are not in Vancouver, maybe some other uh, of you. And, and so we can reach more people in, uh, in a little uh, further away. I would like to start this evening by acknowledging that we are in the unceded lands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh peoples. You are probably some of you in, in some other uh, territories, uh, but we are zooming in from, from here and especially on a beautiful day like this where the cherry blossoms are out. I'm seeing like blooms of pink outside my window here. Uh, we feel just so, so lucky to be uh, settlers and, in, and invited guests in this land and just hope to, to keep working together for a more diverse uh, and accepting society. I would like to introduce you to Jaimel. Jaima Lopes is a Cuban artist with more than 10 years experience in graphic design and illustration. He has been working in Cuba with institute, institutions such as the Martin Luther King Jr. Center, La Casa de las Americas, and the uh, Cuban Institute of Cinema. Since he made Vancouver his new home, he has been involved in projects with the Burnaby Neighborhood House, the Vatari Counseling and Support Services Society, in the Latin American Film Festival here in Vancouver. And naturally he has been working with us at VLAC for a little while in, in, in other um, workshops like this one. His artistic focus includes editorial design and illustrations for magazines, books, and social media, poster design for cultural events, logos, infographics, and motion graphics. In addition to his designer illustrator career, Jaimel's personal artwork has been exhibited in Cuba, New Zealand, and, and in the United States as part of group exhibitions. So uh, just a couple of more uh, for whoever missed this very beginning, uh, you can see uh, Jaimel's hands there in one of the, um, <laughs> those hands. <laughs> And so uh, it, it, he's going to do a little bit of an introduction. So if you feel like for now, you can leave it on speaker view. But once he starts working, I'm going to spotlight on the, the camera that shows his hands. So you can all see that big and it doesn't keep jumping from him to the, to the, to the view of the uh, workspace. So uh, over to you, uh, Jamel. Okay, thank you, Lily. Can you hear me? Or if I can? Okay. Quite well. Thank you, Lily. Yeah, thank you, Lily, for the introduction. Very kind. <laughs> so I want to start. I want to start uh, asking you guys what do you know about screen printing because it's a very interesting technique and not many people know about it. So if you want any thought about what screen printing is, how it's work, I would be happy to listen. To what do you have to say about it? <laughs> Come on, any any thought? Don't, don't have to be, but don't be shy to say something that is wrong because there is nothing wrong. So just let me know okay. what do you think about screen printing. There you are. Hi, ML. Edgar's the one really watching this, and you know he's oh, okay. been interested in in learning about the screen painting. Oh. Okay. okay. Sí, lo que yo estoy interesado, Jamel, es como uh, mis pinturas mm -hmm. uh, ponerlas en una playera o una camisa, eso es lo que a mí me interesa, después mm. pintado en canvas y entonces mm -hmm. me interesado en aprender ese proceso. Ok, That, that's perfect, that's perfect because basically the process is, is the same, it doesn't matter if it's, you print on paper or, or print on fabric, it's basically the same. So today we're going to be uh, working together and we're going to be showing you how to print. We're going to be 
touching the principle of screen printing. And from this point, you will be able to keep exporting more and feeling more confidence in order to make you work. So I'm going to talk about my screen because I'm going to start with a brief story of screen printing. So let me um, share my screen. Okay. So. Okay. Can you see it? Okay, I guess so. Okay, screen printing. Um, we cannot, even though, Jamil, we cannot uh, see you, your screen. Oh, okay. Maybe. Mm, wait. So. Now you now can. Now it seems that's going. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, even though screen printing always looks very fresh, um, very interesting technique. The truth is have been here, I mean, the world for a long time. So it was created in 2021 before Harvey Hira in China. Um, basically the purpose of this technique remained the same it was since the beginning was print an image onto a uh, fabric. Uh, after that, following that, Japan started using the screen printing technique. But the interesting thing about Japan is that they introduced um, the stencil. And this kind of what we're going to be working together today, right? The stems is made of paper mostly. Also, they use um, human hair to create the mesh. Back in those days, uh, <laughs> they don't have um, silk, so they use human hair to create the mesh. And to push the ink through um, the mesh, they use um, stiff um, brush. Following this, uh, in French, in the early 17th century, um, screen painting were being used a lot for uh, and the interesting thing about that is that they create what we use today is basically the frame, this square frame with the um, extension um, silk is basically basically what we use today. So that came from 19th century. Early in the 20th century, um, something opened, <laughs> that was the, the invention of the squeegee. The squeegee is this um, device is this device, I don't know if you can see it. It's this device that allowed printers or artists to push the ink through the mesh in a very, very easy way. After that happened what I consider um, the big moment of screen printing is because a group of artists in New York in 1988 decide not to just print on fabric, but also print on paper. And that put the screen printing in the art world, because you have to think that before 1988, screen printing was used only in the um, in the production industry, in the, in the mass production industry, for uh, print a uh, large group of um, fabric or uh, dress thing like that. But after 1988, those, those group of artists decide to put the screen printing on paper and take those work to the galleries, so that make a screen printing basically an artwork. Um, and after that in 1960 happened um, the big explosion of a screen printing uh, worldwide because a group of artists, the pop culture artists such as Andy Warhol, Travis Rochember in New York, um, Peter Blake in, in, in London start using screen printing to create their body of work. And that make the screen printing know worldwide. Everybody knows about Andy Warhol, right? So I wanna finish with Cuba because I'm a Cuban, right? So I wanna finish with Cuba because between 60 and 80 and the, and the new revolution, Cuba developed a big amount of screen printing poster, not just for um, advertising the revolution, but also the, for the cultural uh, purpose. So you can see uh, how big was that um, production of screen printing poster or any kind of advertising, even I think um, I know uh, documents or or they all done in screen printing. So that was very interesting how screen printing uh, were, were using Cuba for create almost everything. Mostly because back in those days, the situation in Cuba was very um, um, very hard economically. So they don't have any other medium to print advertising. So you have any question about it? about the story. I know this is a very brief story of the screen printing, but I just want to you guys uh, feel <laughs> into the screen printing world. So it's gonna be easy for us to start working. 
So in today's class, we're going to start with um, the basic of screen printing. I want to, we're going to learn how to print one color. After that, we're going to jump in print multicolors uh, image. You will see, it, you guys will see it's almost the same. And after that, I'm gonna show you some tips for those who say, I can draw, <laughs> how can you transfer an image for a photo of a magazine image into your screen printing, okay? So I'm gonna start sharing my screen now. Mm. Okay, right. Um, Put the bar down below on the, the green button is where you start. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay, we are back, right? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. So let's just start with the supplies or we need to screen printing at home. Uh, before I start, I, I, want, um, I want to say that I forgot to tell you guys in the video that in the video, that you have to if get um, a recipient or a container with some water because we're going to need water to wash the, the mesh for those who want to, to, to. So in today's classes, we're going to have what well, is maybe the most important um, device today is, which is the hoop, embodied hoop. And this is a very alternative way to, sprint, to, to do a screen printing at home because not everybody has and the, um, the frame, which is very sometimes expensive. And you can the art supplies store. And we're talking, we were talking with Lily before the class, sometimes how to get it, right? So this is a very useful and very practical way um, to screen printing at home with the hoop, or we can find it you now in the stores or places like that. We have also some mesh. I have here three pieces of mesh, but I understand sometimes it's difficult for people to, to buy it because you have to buy a big uh, amount of mesh, but we're okay. In this class, I'm going to try to use just one because I understand not many people have more than one piece. So I would try to use just one piece to create or the work, okay? And also, let me know when paper. I should uh, highlight your hands. Oh, oh now? yeah, 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 you should. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. let's do yeah. that. Oh, okay. Is that okay? I was talking about the embodied hoop that we're gonna need for the class today. This silk for basically print. Uh, also, like I said before, I'm gonna use just one. I have other pieces there, but I'm gonna use just one. Okay, and of course the paper. Okay, remember that serial screen printing is a um, is a medium to print multiple image or the same image, um, in different or uh, repeat the image in different um, so, um, papers or different sizes, whatever you want. So I'm gonna cut it. I will try to cut the same size though, so it's easy for us to understand where we're gonna put the prints, right? So let's just start with this. I made the mark ready, so. So you're gonna start working for those you guys. Yeah, uh, there is a question. Uh, if is there any way that you can improvise if you don't have a silk mesh? There is any other kind of mesh that would work or fabric? Uh, yeah, that, that's the big. That's the big question because um, I mean that is not possible. I mean there are many artists who have uh, uh, tried to print on um, very 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 you know not thick um, fabrics, but it doesn't work. I don't know why, what, what is this silk made of that just allowed to the, the, um, the ink go through in a very you know, clean way. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think so. It's possible to print another material, but I mean, you can always can try to experiment at home. Maybe you find the way to do it, you know, but not that I know, guys, sorry. So I don't know if you are working, so those who are gonna start working with me, I'm gonna start by cutting my, my piece of um, cardboard paper. Okay. Same size. For this class, 
I will go with maybe 10, please. So I have four here. I'm going to address some of the questions in the chat. Somebody is yes. asking uh, if, if I don't think a panty hose would work, right? It would let uh, through uh, too much ink. You know, Excuse a panty hose, like, uh, I don't know, Angela, how do you do say panty hose in, in Spanish? <laughs> the silk mesh. Very yes. Oh, the silk mesh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's very important to have the circ mesh very, very tight. So yeah, they go, the ink go through very, very well. And, also, for, you, you don't... and for the paper, do you need the paper to be heavy or can you use just simple paper for like a printer? You can, I mean, you can use any kind of paper, but um, yeah, I mean, the tricky part is that if you use a very, very heavy paper, you're going to, you're going to need to push more ink uh, sometimes if, you need practice, you know, then no, don't, no, don't to miss, you know, uh, make a mess around in your screen and in your paper. Yeah, because if you not, many of screen printing artists use very uh, heavy paper, that's gonna help you to, you know, make a very flat um, texture or very, very flat color area. Because otherwise, if the, tech, if the paper have some kind of texture, maybe the ink won't go through those, you know, the, the down areas in the paper. So it's gonna be tricky. You would need kind of, you know, experience on that. But basically you can print every, every, everywhere. So it's about practice and being confident. Hopefully after this class, you guys will be able to start printing. Okay, so I now- I think that like a thinner paper, like paper from a printer would uh, soak too much with the, with the paint and get wavy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also depends on how many water, how much water you put on your on your on your on your ink, right? For those who are gonna start printing on um, um, acrylic, have to be careful because acrylic can be sometimes very tricky if you put too much water on it. So, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare my screen. This is the important part because. I want to make this very, very tight. Okay, restoration. Okay. This is a very important moment because we need to make get very, very tight. Okay. Okay, here we have okay, our frame ready. It's very tight. Okay. You can always make some adjustment, but it's okay. It's very tight. Okay. So what we have, our screen ready, we're gonna leave it. Now let's uh, jump to the design what kind of work we want to print. Remember, we're gonna start with a very simple design uh, now. So we're going to jump after that in a very a more complex design, okay? I have here the papers that I'm gonna use for my design. For many of you, for you guys, I know, Know how to use a stencil because it's very, it's very, it's very um, well-known um, technique, right? So many people use it for do any kind of work. So this time we're gonna use it for screen printing. So since we are starting uh, in a very basic shape, I'm gonna try with um, some abstract shapes, nothing too complicated. Like three. And if you can see it, I'm gonna try to use. Them. We can, yeah, we can't really. You see can't play. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, let me try it. Okay, you will be able to see. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Very simple shape, right? Nothing too complicated. Make sure that the design fit perfectly in the screen, right? Okay. So now we're gonna be the stone school. Remember what I was telling you guys in the presentation about the, how in Japan they use this. So it's basically the same. The screen printing is a very interesting technique because it has remained almost the same, even though right, today's um, professional um, artists use very, very, um, let's say sophisticated uh, tools or whatever, but at the end it's almost the same. It's just, Log some areas and let the ink go through others. So you will print whatever you want. Okay. Okay. It's important to have um, a very good cutter because otherwise your stencil will be broken once you start cutting the shapes, right? So make sure not to sharp the cutter. Okay. okay here we, are. we don't need this. Okay, basically what we're going to print is this, okay? So, what I have, I have the paper when I'm gonna print my design, I'm gonna put it here, okay? I got my stencil, I put on top of my print area. I'm gonna put my um, screen on top of it. Okay. okay, so screen painting is about uh, multi layers um, colors, right? So we're gonna start because this is gonna be the, it's gonna, gonna be just one color print. We're gonna start with this uh, light blue because after that we're gonna use this same uh, print to print another color on top of this. So you're gonna be what happened there, transparencies that we can create. Okay. So I come to put not too much. Okay, remember this is uh, screen printing ink, but if you guys have, are using um, acrylic, maybe you should put some water and try to uh, be careful with how much water you put on your, in your acrylic because you don't want to make it so liquid. Okay. Okay. Of this. So, professional artists use this. This is an squee. Like I said before, this allows the artist to push the ink through the mesh. But because we don't need really an squeegee to work today, we're going to use this. This is a very, this is a old plastic Starbucks car. So you can use any kind of car you have, but you all want. And we're gonna use it as a squeegee because we're, not, we're gonna push the ink through the mesh using this, okay? Okay. Any more ink? So I'm gonna put more ink. Just be careful, okay, on how much ink you put on your screen because of, you don't want to make a mess the table, okay. okay. I think that's good. Okay, going to put the ink back. We're going to remove carefully the screen. And voila. See what I mean? See what happened here is I put too much ink on my um, stencil and because of that, the ink go through the stencil and um, don't make the print very clear as I want. But there is nothing wrong with that. We can use it again. But basically, see the, this area? 
This is very well done. So we can use, we can do it again. I mean, that, that's, this is very, very, very common mistake. Even in professional screen printing uh, places or shop, that's, I mean, when you usually see the final product, but like a stage, <laughs> there are many, many um, mistakes. So this is, this is very common. Don't be, I mean, don't feel bad because you missed some uh, print. Okay, we can do it again. So we, we're going to have, we're going to use another paper. In this case, my um, my stencil is um is has paint in the back, so I have to be careful. If you have a dry hair, if you um, a hair dryer, you can use it to dry your your paint. If not, you can just let the paint dry. I'll put it again. Um, okay, let's try again. I'm gonna put my embroidery here. I'm gonna use the okay. So wait. So in Okay. Okay. I think it's good. Let's see. Oh, voila. See, guys? Here's the print. I mean, this, um, you know, means, I mean, this, we have some blending here. That's the way we call this when the ink go through. But it's getting better, right? It's getting better. But even though if you try, if you're planning to do something like more crafty, uh, more artistic, this is beautiful because you can use this later to create extra uh, layer of paint. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, we have one print here. I'm gonna print uh, three or two more so you can see what I what I want to do at the end. Maybe I'm going to use another stencil. I'm gonna use gonna do another stencil because this is not good anymore. So for that, I'm going to use a paper. So if you want, if you really, if you want to um, create in a specific shape and keep it clean, what I request you is maybe print um, more than one. I mean, you can go to digital printing and print one of two stencil, so you can have more than one in case um, one of those get broken or any kind of situation. You can use other one. So. I'm gonna make um, another shape here. Okay. So when you're planning to do multi-color print, make sure to start always with the light colors, right? Because if you don't have um, a transparency liquid, which allow the dark ink transparency a little bit and let those the 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 color behind um, looks beautiful, you will cover. You know the the dark the the light color. So make sure to start always with a light color and put on top of that the dark next. So that's why I start with the light blue because after that we're going to we're going to show we're going to jump to the um, multi layer multi color print and we're going to start using a darkness color for this. Okay, okay this is good. Let's try again. Here, I put my hoop here. Uh, great. This time I won't put too much ink because my silk is already um, paint. So okay. Right. 
Uh, see, more blending, more bleeding. Oh, this is beautiful, you know. I like it. I'm gonna use it later. I have to print. I'm gonna print all the work. Maybe something you can use is um because maybe this paper is so light, we can use stronger paper for the um, the stencil. It's up to you. Okay. Any question? There is one. Can can okay. you use this uh, to print on fabric? Yes, yes, like, yes, yes. Like a, a denim jacket, for instance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do yes. to print. And Any so kind that, of... that, uh, that same kind of paint or a different kind of paint? Do you have to use uh, for yeah. fabric? Yeah, what I request to print on fabric is use um, uh, acrylic because acrylic is a very good paint for any kind of uh, fabric once it's, it's dry. Or you can use um, uh, screen printing ink. This, is, this one is for, for fabric. But something you can have, I mean, you can do after you, you print is dry, you have to hide on it because otherwise when you watch it, you ink uh, will go you know, with, with, the, with the sock. So you have to you have to iron it after you print your work. Do, do you iron it on top of the, the paint or do, do, do you usually put some fabric over, right? No, you just put a piece of paper and iron it. It's, um, it's I like you, you iron, when you put a piece of paper over the, the printed area the print. and then iron it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In this case, I have some bleeding too. I have some lack of paint. I like that. I'm gonna use it later. You will see how. I mean, so far we have this. I'm gonna show you what we have. And because we are working, I mean, I, I, I just want to show you that screen painting is not a perfect technique, right? It's, it's very crafty technique. So you can see here how many different um, way or how many resort I have based on how I have been printing. So in this case, the printing is very, very clear. I like that. He has some blending, I like it. His kind of lack of print, lack of ink, sorry. He has some blending, but it's okay. I mean, I don't mind this. If you really want to get the more clear shape, you can keep trying at home with different kind of paper. So until find the paper you need to do this, the, the stencil in the best way possible, okay? so. I'm going to so, print another one. Uh, yeah. A quick question, Jamel, because yeah. uh, you were saying that the paper was uh, maybe a little uh, thin, the paper for the for the stencil. So is there a paper that's the best paper to do the stencil? So it's more like a, a heavier pa paper? Maybe, or... maybe it could be, could be, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, this is screen printing is about try and you can you try, try, okay, maybe this paper, because sometimes you have very thick paper, but uh, the absorber, the it absorbs too much water, so it doesn't work. So it's it's you have to try, it's try, try, try. Okay, I mean I tell you, I can tell you, even in um in professional screen printing shop, it's about try, fake, try, fake. It's like that. <laughs> it's not like it's not perfect. It's very crafty process screen printing. So here my stencil has some bleeding, but I will use it. You know, I don't mind. I will use it because I want to create some texture, so. So it's okay. that paper is from a sketchbook, right? It's, yeah, 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 it's very, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, maybe it's a not the best. Thinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, I will print this one more. More ink. Well, the question of printing on fabric, something that you can do, but you need more practice is um, you can go and print your design um, vinyl sticker or sticker binder. I used to do that <laughs> sometimes. Um, so you paste 
your vinyl sticker on your screen, but you need a professional screen, but right? you don't need, you, you can use an Adobe Hub for that reason, for to that, because this is not maybe the best way to, to print in, in professional way. So if you wanna really make um, a difference and print a very high quality by using um, vinyl sticker binder, maybe you need to buy it, um, a professional um, frame, right? A screen printing frame. I can see here that we have lack of ink, but I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put some ink on my car. Maybe we have some blazing. Okay, let's see. Let's see. As I said before, yeah, bleeding and lack of ink, but I don't mind, okay? I'm gonna show you later what's gonna happen with this. Okay. So, so far we have four print, some very good, some is some of them good, some not, a, not so good, but I would love to use anyway. Okay, for later. Okay. So I'm gonna show you now what we have. We have this. We have this, okay. So. Because of screen printing is, um, is a dirty, <laughs> um, Technique. We need to now wash everything. So I'm gonna put some water on my uh, container. While to the try. cleaning, I'm gonna launch a, like a, just a quick poll to learn how people learn about yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So if you guys can spend just uh, half a half a minute uh, answering this quick poll, please. I think that one one thing that I I like about silk screen is because it's quite forgiving. Not like if you if you put things a little bit off register or if you get some mistakes, you can incorporate that. And actually, uh, Andy Warhol was a king of doing that. No, he would uh, really, really get the the off uh, register images as um, a, a quality to that. No? It's beautiful. It's it's the best about screen painting. It's funny because I mean I don't I'm not against computer of course but what what happened in the last um, maybe 10, 20 years is because of the introduction of, of computer and the screen printing process many people think screen printing is very very um, precise technique which is not <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's about it's a, yeah it's about out of center and enjoy those um, you know. Um, mix of colors. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's it's what makes the screen painting unique. So I'm gonna, clean, I'm gonna keep cleaning my screen. I mean, in the best scenario, I will jump um, to change my um, my silk, but I want to I want to try to do it uh, as you may will do it right now. So. So make sure when you're doing this at home, cover everything, the table. And if you are, and be careful with the carpet, right? Those who have carpet, be careful because this ink is complicated. <laughs> Just getting into carpet. Okay. So I'm just quite nice. Okay. So something that, I, that we should do when we clean up our screen is to make some um, cleanup um, test, right? So, oh, I, we don't we, we are done with the uh, with the uh, with this video. We can jump. Yes, to the, we are. You can okay. go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Most people learn about the the workshop through Facebook. Oh, good. Uh, Black good. newsletter was the second. Yeah, cool. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my my uh, my screen printing frame on top of paper. I'm gonna use 
again, my um, squeegee car, <laughs> and I'm gonna clean up everything, okay? Because I know, even though I watch it, I know there are many ink, many ink remains on my mesh, and I don't want that, okay? So see this? I'll just clean up everything. Okay, see? Wait. Let's do it again. For screen printing, we need a lot of paper. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's maybe the most annoying part because yeah, we waste a lot of paper just by cleaning the screen and you know, trying to keep everything clean. So the email to clean the, the screen, you're using just like fabric and like a cloth and water. It's just yes. all there is. Yeah, yes, just that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the screen, this um, ink are water based. so. Just with water would be so. Fine. While it's still wet, it will come off quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, it's a speedball. The the brand is a speedball. Speedball. A speedball. Yeah. I was when I'm going if, to the yeah. I was wondering please. if you could put it under the running water. Could you put it under sure. the running? Water? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you can remove you can uh, you can uh, remove the screen the the silk and wash it like oh. a piece of fabric, right? Yeah, it's very, it's very easy. So I'm just doing this because we need to save time, right? So, but it's like what you can do at home. Okay, it looks nice and clear. Okay. So now let's try to do uh, two color spring, right? So I'm gonna show you now. A tricky part, <laughs> or maybe it's the best way to do multicolor paint. Remember, this is this is a process for do at home for do at home with supplies. All we have, we are not trying to do here on um, professional paint, right? So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my paper. I'm gonna make a design, simple design. I'm gonna show you now what I'm going to do. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make a draw. I'm gonna make simple and um, like a flower, right? So. It's simple, nothing too complicated or something that we can do. So, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. If you can see this. Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, let's say that I want to print this flower in two colors. And I want to decide, okay, I decide um, that my colors going to be in this area because when you when you make a design for screen printing you have i mean make sure that the draw you do you do is basically it's mostly a map it's not a draw like you're going to show people it's a map so you can feel confidence about how you're going to make your um stencil based on your draw so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to i'm going to um divide the areas that I want to be in one color or another color. I can say that this flower is gonna be uh, blue again, but I'm gonna highlight some areas of the flower in this beautiful color, right? So I will decide, decide that maybe this area, maybe this area, I'm gonna show you later guys. Don't worry. This yeah, area. show to, to closer to the camera when you can because we can't mm. see much of the. See. Oh, okay, I do. Yes. I mean, this is a very basic um, design. You can be more complicated at home if you want. So I'm gonna make some work here so I know. Okay. Here. So I decided that this big area, the main area is gonna be blue. 
So this highlight area is going to be this beautiful purple, or whatever color it is. It's beautiful. No, God. Okay, anyway. Okay, so once I have my design, I'm going to have, I'm going to take another piece of paper. So in this case, I'm going to use this um, um, cardboard, cardboard paper because I don't want to destroy my stencil anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on top of my um, cardboard paper and, I go, and I'm going to draw those areas that I want to highlight, okay? On top of this. And you can use tape if you be afraid of move your paper, you can use tape and tape on the table. So it's gonna be easy for you. Taking some marks here. And because I'm doing pressure on my paper, I'm gonna mark underneath those areas that I want to cut and let the ink go through. Okay. Okay. Of course, you can see it because it's um it's impossible, but I'm gonna show you now. So I'm gonna take a piece of like with um, my pen or a pencil. I'm gonna mark those area, so I know how or where I'm gonna cut to make my stencil. Okay. See what's happening? You can see. See. Um, okay. So here we okay. So we have here the main design, and we have here stencil for the second color. Something we can do is to, um, I mean, in this case, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to make the, the main area again, I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna make a pressure on this and another piece of cardboard paper. So I won't destroy the main, the design in case I wanna repeat it, right? But here we have, uh, okay, the highlight areas. Based on the pressure I made on my draw, so I know exactly where to cut. Right, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sometimes it's complicated to explain to people by Zoom and you know, like that. You know. Just let me know if you don't understand anything or something, and I will be happy to repeat it. Okay, don't be afraid to do it. So, my highlight area, my second color. I'm gonna do my first color now. I'm going to repeat my design, but this time this thing of. Um, make marks on my highlight area, I'm gonna do it in my main area because it's good, that's gonna be my first color, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe you don't have to, you don't have to be uh, very fancy about it. It's, it's just have fun and be, you know, Jaime, if we words. have time, yeah. I want. I know that you have some prints that you've done, you know, with a okay. more professional uh, mm -hmm. equipment. Maybe mm -hmm. you can show a couple um, for us, just just so we can see like a fully, you know, oh. three or four color yeah. work. Sure, sure. Yeah. But you yeah. know, later on, Chantal also said that she has a very good poster of uh, a Cuban poster in silk screen. Oh, cool. She said oh, cool. she is going to to share that with us as well. <laughs> cool. So now I'm gonna I'm going to mark my main area when I'm gonna do the uh, big stencil. It's gonna be here. Yeah, remember to show to us. I can see you making the movement, but I can't really see your line. Okay. See the lines here. Okay. Okay. I'm talking about um, Q and poster. Um, the Cuban poster did in the 60 and the 80. I mean, the, the Cuban poster for the cinema were done using this. I mean, they they stopped doing this uh, in the 
maybe early, early 2000, <laughs> because they were using a stencil to make those posters. So <laughs> was, yeah, it's very interesting, those master. Let's see. Okay, so okay, once, now we can see okay, it. Okay, yeah. you can see. So here, that's gonna be my stencil for my first color. And this is gonna be the stencil for my second color that I'm gonna put on top of this. Right, based on what my main design. You got it? okay. So let's do the stencil again. And when she's asking something, I'm not sure if I understand the question, but she's saying, is it like engraving that you cut out the opposite? Mm, kind of, yeah. I mean, it depends. On, I mean, you can do this, you know, and you have uh, the reverse. But in this case, in the screen printing, when you do it in a professional way um, using our um, equipment, sometimes you have to put the, the image in reverse. But in this case, you don't need to do it. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing the stencil for my first color. Also, when you get when you start painting at home, be careful, don't let the ink dry on your silk. Okay, that's very important. Or you, you, some, will never, <laughs> you will never be able to wash it again. Yeah, 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 because those things are very, very heavy. So once get dry, you silk, you have to buy again <laughs> a piece of silk. And we don't want that, right? Expensive. Okay. I mean, this may look Complicated, but it's not. And once you feel more confident and settled at home, you can really do your own postcards or whatever you want. This is very funny process. Can are we with the time, Lily? Uh, we are at seven twenty-five now. So I think that pretty much once you finish this two-color um, print. Mm -hmm. We could um, do a little show of your oh, of some of work. your prints and see okay. Chantal's. Okay. Oh, me but take your time there because you have have some time. Okay, this is we don't need this. Okay, stencil first color. See? Now let's do the second color, which is this guy here. Okay. I'm thinking that it's quite nice for making uh, Christmas cards because you could make like you know, very simple, like Christmas trees yeah. or things like that that you can place in different um, parts of the paper. Exactly, it's, yeah. it's, it's very, very nice. It's very nice. Oh, any cards, like, you know, any birthday cards, thank you cards. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, because I, Appreciate it, guys. You are here. I have to say that those of you who want to really keep exploring and screen printing and don't have and don't have silk at home, you can email me and I, I will be happy to send you some piece of mesh. Okay, I have some here. So ah, that's very nice of you. Can yeah, I share sure. your your email on yeah. the chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Sure. So it's a, we'll sp a special offer. You guys, yeah, of course. Get a little yeah. <laughs> Of course, it's about that people feel confidence and start printing at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I put a GML's uh, email on the chat. If you have questions too, right? Yeah. And well, if you're gonna try this at home and then you forgot something, you can always watch the video again, but you can also ask him questions. Okay, we are now in the second call. Okay. okay, here we are. First color, second color. So let's do it. Let's do it. 
Uh, Darlene is saying that her ink is not washing off. I wonder if uh, if she has the the water based um, uh, uh, ink. Good to check mm. what what your ink uh, is, Darlene. Okay, yeah. Water based oh. should should be you should be able to wash it if it's not dry. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, she's saying yeah. that's not water based. Okay. I mean, you, you can use no water-based ink, but I don't request you because it will be destroy you. I mean, your silk, okay? Yeah, if you use non-water-based, uh, yeah. it's going to be only once on that screen and then you won't yeah. be able to yeah. use it. Yeah. Also, you have to use chemical cost in order to remove the ink. And I don't know about that, okay? You can destroy your silk. So I'm gonna put some paper here. I don't wanna make a mess. Okay, let's paint. Okay, remember paper, stencil, frame top. Let's do it. Okay, paper down below, the stencil, and then the. And then the In between, yeah, it's a sandwich. <laughs> okay. And of course, the hoop has has a height, and so you have to put the the mm -hmm. the side that the sink is very close to the paper uh, down. Exactly. Yeah, that's right, Lily. We kind of can see that there, but it's not not all there that well. Okay. So again, same process. My car. Okay. I see that I can have some blending here. That's okay. Oh, we have lack of paint, which is a big problem because to do this. Okay. Voila. Okay. This is beautiful because these things happen here. I like it. You know, so we can use it later. Like so now you're gonna do a second layer of color on the paint that is still wet. Would you normally wait for it for it to dry before doing the second? Yes, uh, I request you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we can do it without dry, but I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay, let's put this here. Let's paint again. Second, another one. Okay. It makes a funny noise. I mean, that's the noise we need to, to have pretty time while <laughs> printing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the, the nice. So when you, okay, yeah. this is um yeah, looks pretty good. That one looks me. really good. Yeah, so we have to now. So because we don't have too much time, let's jump to make the second color. Okay, even though the the ink is not very dry, but okay, then, you know what I mean. So let's do it again anyway. So we're going to have nice their colors. <laughs> let's see. Okay. So for this um, second color, I'm gonna use the second stencil in the maybe before. So I'm going to put on top of my design. Okay, so I think it's here. It's here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, Jade is saying that her daughter and her that, that they tried it uh, using the pantyhose as a mesh, and that that worked. Mm, 
Okay. He said it's That's just good. that the material is very stretchy, and so that mm. made it a little harder to to do it. Oh. But they they got uh, they managed to get some very sharp lines. Okay, that's good. I mean, yeah. I mean, people are creative for, by nature, so <laughs> it doesn't matter what the yeah, theory it's say. Yeah, to be able to always... use material you have at home. Yeah. Uh, at and home. these days uh, that everybody is on Zoom, nobody uses painter hoses anymore. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. So we have here second color. I'm trying to color for the area of the second color. Let's see. So you didn't you didn't wash the screen between colors, no? Is that okay? We, no, we should we should wash it. We but, should wash it. Yeah, yeah, we don't have time. So this this looks very nice. Let's see what happens. See, well, I mean, ah, da, da. yeah, yeah. Maybe we can work more on the you no know, on the mid perfectly, you know. But come on, this is um, we are trying, we are experimenting here. So this is what I mean, right? You you can really um go you know any direction you want based on the, the design. I'm gonna show the designs now. Here, see. So um, based on this, we got this. Okay, so. It's, it's so funny because you can really, I mean, you can be more picky about it and try to mix the, the, the shapes perfectly, but it takes time. You have to be you know, more focused and we don't have too much time to do it. So that's, I just want to show you how can you do whatever you want with screen printing, right? So it's up to you. So really how much time we, do we have? Now we still have 25 minutes. Darlene is asking if you leave the, the silk on the hoop or if you uh, if you just leave it there and then you can use it again, or no, if you no. usually remove it. No, what, what I what I will do is I just remove it. I will remove it. You know, just removing the skin and wash it. You, you have to wash it because it's better for you to. I mean, wash it like a piece of fabric, normal piece of fabric. You know, so with you can soap really and, take yeah. it under the under the yeah, yeah. faucet and wash yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's and then very, you can reuse yeah. it. Yeah. Of course, how many times you want. So, so I'm going to show you now quickly something that for those who are always complaining about, I can draw. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm going to show you how can you do it. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use this. I have here um, a photo of this beautiful cat. So I'm going to show you now what we can do with this photo. Okay using a piece of paper before right? sheet. We're going to, we're going to do basically the same with it here, okay? This is my, um, um, my reference. I'm gonna put on top of my piece of paper and I'm going to using a pencil or pen, I will decide where my shapes are. So, okay. So you are tracing it on exactly. the like outward line of the exactly, of the exactly, exactly. Okay, maybe you should tape it so it will move. But so you can go as little as you want. It's up to you. And that is leaving a mark on the paper that's underneath. Exactly. So you're gonna make the stencil. Based on this, right? you can see you, it's impossible no, to see, here, see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can also uh, use carbon paper, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Ah, that's it's the same true. process. Yeah. It's, a, it's the same process, right? It's a, it's a fancy process. So, see the yes. outline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is basically the same. And we, after we have this for the first color, as we did before, we can go again to our reference and make the second color. We can decide that, okay, my eyes are gonna be. This is my eyes, and this area, my eyes gonna be my second color. Okay, I'm tracing the second color here, the nose. Okay. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah, you made the stencil again, and you have the second color, and you can go and keep going as far as you want and put in more color as you need, but based on photo, or, okay, picture, whatever you want. So you have to be careful about. 
I mean, how many details you put? Because sometimes people want to like, create exactly what you have in the photo and be, remember that screen, uh, screen printing. So you have to be careful with how many details you put, but at this, but you can do it, right? You can really um, try to move and go how far half you want. Yeah, you kind of simplify the drawing to just the main elements, so. no? I think so, yeah. yeah, I think so. So that's this is a very nice way to uh, to reproduce image that you have on magazine or even photos of people. So that is very nice, it's a very nice way to work. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this. I know this is not maybe I mean, too many, I not give you too many details because we don't have too much time. Screen printing has every technique is about practice, okay? You have to, based on what you learned today, you just jump and start practice at home and trying to do the best you can. And you will get, I believe me, because everybody start from scratch, right? <laughs> yeah, so, give some tools to get started. Can you show us a couple of your prints so yeah, we can yeah, see what you can yeah. actually do with yeah. when you have so, like more yeah. professional. So I will go to, I will go to my Instagram, it's okay? Uh, so don't, don't you have something there that you can just put on the table? Yeah. I don't know if you have something at hand. I have here in my, in my work. <laughs> so if it's, it's easy, good. yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we didn't prepare sorry. this, so yeah. it wasn't on the script. Okay, so this is my, like, this is my last print that I made. Oh, I don't know if you can see it here in details. Yeah, this is- Yeah, um, it has glass, but we can see it quite well. So there yeah. you, you worked with three colors. Yeah, this uh, was three color prints. Can we go Lily to the to the front uh, camera? So it's this year. Sure, let me, uh, uh, yeah. let me uh, uh, take out the spotlight just a second. Uh, I have to find EML phone mm -hmm. and remove spotlight. And I'm gonna do the, the spotlight on okay. you like that. Uh, yes, this is, um. This is um I made my last print. It, um, I, I finished it, I think it was yesterday, um, the day before yesterday. So it's basically a Cuban um, scenario with my friends because this is that is happening in 2018 in December. We were having hanging out in my friend's patio and making a caldosa. Caldosa is um, very cool Cuban um, food. So we were hanging out and basically what I did here was to use. Oh, we have learned today maybe in more a little more complicated but it's basically the same by coring some areas i just let the ink go through another so this is this white you see here is the white of the paper right i just cover it and i start painting this orange first because it was the delightful color after that i jump to the blue and so i finish with this brown color to highlight some it's um, beautiful areas and make the change yeah yeah so, if, if you prefer, I can. I have your Instagram ready to go here. I can share that oh, if you like. That's great. That's great. Okay. That's great. Thank you. So, it's, I mean, it's what I said. That's my son. So, that's what I said before. Um, screen printing is not complicated. It's not. If you want to do at home, you can do it. It's just jump into the technique, start getting earning some confidence, getting some confidence, and um, you will get it. So that's basically some details of the work. And you uh, can that's see that's cool. Texture. We can see it very yeah. close then there. The texture, the you know, the the, the ground, the ground in the and, in and the here print. you guys can see his handle so you can follow him on Instagram. Okay. So yeah. So here the colors are overlapping, huh? That's beautiful. I mean, yeah, that's the best you can that's beautiful. That could give you this kind of texture. So in this case, I, I, to print, I use um, a screen filler, um, uh, drawing fluid, which is some professional way to print, but it's, it's basically saying you using a screen filler, you cover some areas in your screen and let the ink go through those areas that are blank or you know, without screen filler. So it's basically that. So this is your setup. That's how you print at home. Yeah, at home. Yeah, I have my own. Wow, home that's studio. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, screen printing is beautiful. I mean, it's not it's not difficult. I always encourage people to do it, jump into the technique. <laughs> it's not something that you can because no, no, come on, it's just practice. Oh, it's nice things. when you see it, all of them together like this. <laughs> and so this is the same print in a different color, right? 
yeah, I always yeah experiment with different with the same print, different colors, some wasted that you see some wasted prints. Uh, yeah. uh, that's from the drawing to the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, using a screen filler to cover some areas, like the ink go through the others. So, yeah. There are several little videos like this on, on JML's uh, Instagram, so you can see the process, like from drawing to to the the finished. Uh, print and this is that the was book. A book yeah a book that i finished recently so yeah it's, it's 20 screen printing um i made a was was a big challenge to make the case oh it's <laughs> but, a beautiful <laughs> box yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> how how many prints months. in the book i have 20 20 prints 20 prints and, and what's the theme? What are you? Uh, um, I mean, the, yeah, I, I, I found uh, uh, like a, maybe years ago and um, very, very or album of photo of indigenous people from Latin America, from Venezuela and Colombia was very interesting because I uh, was given to my mother-in-law from someone who was, who his, her sister was working in Colombia in the second world war as a nurse. So she took many pictures of those person when I saw that, oh, that, so beautiful because usually you don't see you know those image of people working in their own environment so i decided to make a book based on those experiences which is mostly my my inspiration my, my personal work working them in memories and you know experience so, so. and so this is also part of the book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's the process in this case i just Using a screen filler, a screen filler is a look that allows you to block some areas in the in the screen. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just, um, just there is like an emotion um, now that you kind of um, exactly. It's, it's yeah. the same. It's the same. Yeah, but it's mostly for work by hands for for people who like to draw. Great. I know that I know that looks very professional, guys. But believe me, you can do it at home. You can you can do it the same. It's no it's no hard. It's just jump into the technique and start you know doing. And as I said before, if you need a piece of mesh, I can send you. So just let me know, and I'll be happy to send you a piece of mesh so you can start. See two colors and can see the process. Uh, that's the the lines, no, mm -hmm. the darker yeah. color. Yeah, exactly. And you said that you should start from the lighter color to the darker. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can you can do it in reverse, but I mean, you, you can you can have uh, unexpected results. So it's better mm -hmm. to you know, it's it's up to the the printer, whatever the artist wants to do. See, in this case, I'm using my card to paint this small area. I don't need to use the squeegee because the area is small. It's just a little, it's just that circle, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. Now you're tracing for, for one of the colors. Mm -hmm. For use? Yeah. Exactly. So, even though I am not using a stencil, but it's basically it's the same. <laughs> it's the same, right? It's the same principle. It's the same principle, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This moment of taking the paper out is always mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. So I wish I can see you, you guys working uh, in the future and, and show me, you can show me your works and we'll be happy to you know, chat about it. To <laughs> one of the other prints. Mm -hmm. And so for each one of them, you did the process. Now each, uh, I'm seeing that we are seeing the 14, the 15. Mm -hmm. This is I the 13th. Yeah, yeah. So because I want to, um, what I what I decided was to bring people in this the, the journey of our journey of was to making the book, because I understand it was, it was uh, it's going to be a long process. I said, okay, I'm going to show you from the beginning, from the you know, when I start with the first print to the 
to the end. So yeah, there, uh, people that's very cool to see the drawing and how mm -hmm. it translates mm -hmm. to the simplified. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, colors. you can see, you know, the the draw is is um is a map. It's a map for for me to know which color to use or what. To see. Mm -hmm. So they are all different work areas mm -hmm. and they are all, all, all not always. Yeah. yeah a so is that a poster? Yeah, it was a poster for a music festival, music festival in, I don't remember where it was. Yeah, so they come and make the poster. So yeah, it was a very small a towny festival, but I love it to make the posters. So it was me making some drawings. A, uh... Uh, Chantal, would you be be able to share the work you have? Uh, mm. Yes, yes, please. Let's um, see if she. I don't know if she's. Yes, I can. I can share, but I can't share my screen because let, I'm... I. I will make oh. a post so you can share your screen. Just a second. Mm. Let's see if you can see it. And I'm also going to spotlight Chantal so everybody can see. That's great. The light is that good in this area. But you can see the post. Oh yeah, that's 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 from Munoz Bash, Eduardo Munoz Bash. Bash oh, which you is... actually know? Is it a, for a, a film festival? Yes, it's yeah. 1983. You can't see because of the color difference. It's 1983. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you know what? Th that was made exactly how we work it today with stencils. <laughs> Back in those days, they print that way, so it's beautiful. I, uh, but, oh, it was masters. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. As, uh, as a pattern, so I made my three pieces cut out so I can paint. Uh, so oh, I'll... that's great. Wow, <laughs> great. That's the point. That is great, so great. good. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> that's great. But what, what I was doing while you were working was bananas. Oh, that's so... beautiful. That's great bananas very well. It doesn't come out with the camera very clearly, but um, it was very easy to use this stencil of the banana shape. Of oh, a banana, yeah. Great, great. And uh, I'm not sure if the color on this one will come out better. I don't have bright light in my, uh, so they all look very smudgy on the camera, but they look rather nice in real life. See? And it's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> great experiment and I can see how I could uh, change what I want whether it's a little bit more fuzziness or a little more clarity just with a little bit of practice exactly That's the point. thank you so much for sharing Chantal I really appreciate yeah, that yeah I really appreciate it <laughs> that was great that was great and we see when you see people are really doing things it's oh wow great That's the point. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's so, beautiful. Uh, do you? Does anybody still have questions for JML? Don't be shy. If, <laughs> if not, I just um, there's just something that I would like to share. Uh, we have another event coming up, and I'm just going to put the on the screen here. You want to say something, Marcos? Oh, yes, my friend. Uh, oh, cool. I fell in love with uh, seal screen printing. Oh, thank you. Because thank I know you. you're in love with this. Excuse me, I, 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 got, I don't get it. How do you fell in love with skilled printing? Because oh, I know thank you. you're in love with this. I know. Yeah. Everybody knows, everybody fell in love with screen printing. It's beautiful process. It's beautiful techniques. So, yeah. <laughs> What happens with most people, they think it's hard, they can do it, but come on, you just jump into it, you know, try it, and you say, oh, yeah, it's not so hard, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, use that as an inspiration to get started with something. I'm, I'm definitely into it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to share this quickly because now on the April 27th, which is next week, we are going to have this event. Our Tertulia, Tertulia is a, a, is a, a, a talk. And uh, I, I don't know if you if any of you have heard of Corrido and Corrido and Arco Corrido. 
And, and so it's Marta Batiz who is going to talk about it. And it approaches the corrido as a unique Mexican musical genre. Um, and so if you don't know what it is, and if you're, uh, uh, or if you know and want to, to, uh, uh, to know a little bit more, this is going to be on the 27th at five, and you know, five from 6.30. It's again, a free event. So just go to our website and click on programs. And this is what's coming up. Uh, and next month, um, on the, from the 13th to the 21st, we are going to be presenting a series of events called Racism, Latin American and Identity. So these are going to be a series of conversations and talks uh, on, on Latin American identity. So what is it that makes us Latin America, a Latin American? Because it's kind of a fluid, um, a, um, is Wendy asking about who will moderate those, meaning the, the ones uh, that I'm, I'm talking about now, the five? The, yeah, so the, the, one, the one with Corrido is going to be Marta Batiste. The five that we are going to do in, on the month of May from the 13th to the 21st, th those are going to be a partnership with the Vancouver Public Library. And each one is going to be, uh, so we have some highlights like the curator of Africa and South America from the Museum of Anthropology is going to be one of the participants. Uh, Ambassador Silvio Buquerque, who is um, one of 18 members of the committee uh, to, to end uh, discrimination, the, the, the United Nations Committee for the End of Discrimination. He's going to be in conversation with the High Commissioner of Human Rights of the province, uh, Kazaria Govender. And we are going to have one that's uh, youth, uh, Latin American youth uh, uh, having a conversation about how Latin American is not a monolith and in different parts of Latin America, you know, the Caribbean, the cent Central America into if we are seen uh, as being just, uh, a, when you're talking about Latin America, you are actually talking about many different things. Benny Esguerra, who is a poet and musician from Toronto is going to be talking about uh, music and music for change. And because uh, th those are themes in, in his music. And we are also going to have Mirette Rodriguez in conversation with a visual artist, Alejandro Arauz, who is going to be talking about th themes of immigration and identity on his visual art work. So five different events where people can uh, jump in the conversation, ask questions. They are almost all uh, around noon and they are all free of charge and registrations can be done. Uh, you can go to our website or of the Vancouver Public Library website and they are our partners on, on this event. Uh, Jaime, I would like to thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Always great to have you. And I'm sure that we are going to, to come back with other events with, uh, with you. Everybody who, who participated tonight and who came to the event, thank you so much. And uh, uh, this is a way, uh, like just by simply coming to our events, you are supporting what we do. So I, I thank you very much to you for, for the ones who use the, the, the pay what you can uh, a option. And, and that was a little donation that made us be, you know, that made us possible to, to, to pay fairly uh, artists and, and presenters like Yamel, but also uh, others. Uh, you are all now uh, going to receive our newsletter. That's a monthly newsletter. You can unsubscribe anytime, but it's a great way of knowing what's, what's coming up. We have a, a couple of minutes left. So if anybody has still uh, any questions or anything to say, well, um, Jamel, do you have any, any last words before we close? I just want to thank all of you guys for being here, for be part of this um, experiment. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope see you in the future doing screen printing at home and doing your postcard and posters. Uh, yeah, it would be lovely. <laughs> Yeah, hey, remember that uh, Jamel's uh, link is on the chat. Let me get it again because he promised to give you guys some mm -hmm. 
some <laughs> some silk and you can also feel free to uh, contact him uh, directly with any questions you have mm -hmm. uh, and this I'm going to put again because his Instagram is so useful and so educational with all those videos uh, this again uh, is his Instagram for you to, to follow any last questions anybody would like to say anything great Thank you. Thank you very, very much. It was very insp inspirational. Thank you. Thank you. And we also, Chantal is saying very inspiring. Uh, our next festival, we'll have some promotional art like this. And I, I, I hope in, in North Bay. So thank you for everyone to, uh, for attending. I hope you have a, a great evening. It's still beautiful out. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you, Jamel. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcos. Bye. Bye.